Hello and welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, I'm so happy you're here. My name is Brittany and I cook all things gluten-free. So let's get in the kitchen and start cooking. Today in the kitchen, we're cooking up Texas chili. I'm using Carol Shelby's custom chili kit, which comes with individual packets of spices, cayenne, and masa flour. You can use this box of seasonings and season up the chili any way you like it. Here you can see the ingredients of corn masa flour, chili peppers, garlic powder, cumin, oregano, onion, paprika, salt, and cayenne pepper, and this is gluten-free. I'm also gonna use the tomato sauce and the original Rotel. So I'm gonna use one onion and one bell pepper. I'm gonna chop that up. Put some olive oil in an iron skillet and put the bell peppers and onions in the iron skillet on medium heat. Saute those until they are a light golden brown. After that starts to get a light golden brown, go ahead and add two pounds of ground meat. Mix the ground meat in with the bell peppers and onions. Cook this until the ground meat is well done. In a large pot, I'm going to add the rotel and the tomato sauce. I'm going to add two eight ounce cans of water. I'm just gonna use the tomato sauce can and fill that with water. And add the water to the pot where you put the tomato sauce and rotel. The ground meat is almost done and then we're going to add the spices to the ground meat. I'm going to add in the whole packet of the chili spices to the ground meat. I'm gonna stir that around and coat the ground meat with the chili spices. For the cayenne pepper, I'm going to put that in the pot where I have the tomato sauce. I'm not going to use the whole packet because it will be too spicy because we already have the Rotel that is the original. So just using a little bit of the spice of the cayenne pepper. Then I'm going to start adding in the ground meat into the pot. Once you're done adding all the ground meat, go ahead and stir that around and mix it good together. To make the chili thicker, I'm going to use the masa packet. It's gonna be one third cup water and then adding in the masa, stirring that together, and then we will pour it into the chili. Stir that in and then we will let this simmer until it thickens up. You can find the full recipe in the description box down below. You can also add in some beans if you want the chili to go a little bit further. I'm going to go ahead and put some Fritos into a bowl and then we will pour the chili into the bowl. and top that with some grated cheese. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to get updates on new gluten-free recipes every week. I also like to add a couple of jalapeno peppers to the top of my chili. Enjoy, dinner is served. Thank y'all for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and let us know if you tried cooking up some Texas chili. 
I'll see you next time in the kitchen.